Welcome everyone today, uh, my name is Mr. O, and today I do want to cover today um, a topic that one of my students really wanted me to cover, and it's about sort of the use of calculators, um, but I also want to go um, in depth about the importance of these calculators, the use of the calculators, what's the pros, cons around these calculators, especially for the Math 2C. So the, in, in the SAT exam, one of the things that you must take is something called the SAT subject test. And amongst those, there's a math portion where it's one hour for 50 questions. Usually it's not that easy to questions. And it, it bears a lot of questions as to what type of calculator should you get. Um, so a lot of people, there's a lot of debates and discussions, and this is more of an opinion personal thing. Um, and so today, I'm just going to provide you a basic idea as to why I personally actually recommend the TID-9 Titanium and, you know, go more in depth. So on the College Board website, they provide a list of different calculators that are available, and I'll provide the link below. Um, but amongst those calculators, some of the ones that are recommended include this TI-84, TI-89, and there's also one called TI-Inspire, which is not shown right here. Um, but that being stated, for the SAT subject math exam, I highly recommend it's actually the TI-89. And I'll explain the differences between especially TI-84 and 89, which are uh, two of the common calculators that students use, and why I'm leaning towards the TI-89. Um, I know some students also use the TI-Inspire, and I'll also explain that. So when it comes to the TI-84, a lot of this interface is pretty simple. And so with my old TI-84 I have right here, um, some of the things I must note is that it's very user-friendly. So if you wanted to just do get to the point and you want to solve real quick to problems like what's 2 times 9, and it, it gets to the point. Um, it solves a lot of the functional things, like if you ask for sine 35, and depending on the mode, you could readjust. It is very simple mode right here, and you could readjust based on different things. So right now it was in radian, and if I want to switch to degree and go back to that and do sine 35, for example, it gets me to the point. It gets to the point very fast, it's very simple to use, and one of the easiest calculators to get acclimated to or accustomed to. Um, it does have the functionalities of graphing, so if I want to do, for example, 2x squared plus 3x plus 4, I could graph it really quick. And of course, I could readjust the screen accordingly and all that, all, all, all that I need. Um, but that being stated, the TI-84, because of its user-friendliness, um, lacks some of the functionality and necessary tools, AK necessary, um, but useful tools that will help you um, get a really high score on the SAT subject exam for math. And so that's why I highly recommend the TI-89. Um, when it comes to TI-89, um, it does have the functionalities exactly what a TI Inspire has also, but the part is that for TI Inspire, I found that it's a little bit more, um, yes, less user friendly and it has too much functionalities and too many things um, where there's not enough shortcuts and speed integrated in it. But that being stated, if you practice with it and you get accustomed to it, then any calculator is fine in the end. It's just that personally for me, I find TI 89 to be the best. Um, you know, tool to use, and this is the reason why. And so unlike the TI-84, TI-89 can actually solve for functions based on what you need. So I have listed right here some of the things, for example, that you could use. Um, so for example, if I want to solve a system equation, and I wrote an example right here, x plus 2y equals to 5, 2x plus 3y equals to 6, how do I solve it? Of course, you could solve it by hand. Um, and it does take some time, depends on the question. Like this one might take a little bit extra time uh, for me to really solve out for the parts for X and Y and all that. But the TI-89 could actually solve it for you. So a lot of times what I do is actually push F1 and I look through the tabs. And in these tabs, they provide you different you know, functionalities that TI-84 does not offer at all. So for example, it solves for you, it could factor for you, it could span, do zeros, and a bunch of other functionalities. Um, also TI-89, even though this is not relevant to math, um, to a math subject test, also provides calculus-based you know, you know, tools in case you want to you know, make sure your answer is correct, such as differentiating, integrations, and all that. But for today, for this question for systems of um, equations, I could actually use the solve function. And what the solve function does, it lets me solve for a specific variable. It doesn't work 100% of the times, but it works pretty well done. Okay, and so for example, I could put x plus 2y equals to 5. And what I'm going to do is that I am going to go to the catalog. 
And one of the great things about it is right now, right now my data set right now is in the letter D. And I let's say I want to include another equation. I could actually push the letter A right here. You see right here in the white letters A, and actually put the, you know, insert and into here. And then afterwards, I can put 2x plus 3y equals to 6 and comma x. So I put solve x plus 2y equals 5 and 2x plus 3y equals to 6 comma x. And the comma is right here. And the reason why I do this is because when I enter it and solve it out, it actually punches out the answer. That x equals to negative 3 and y equals to 4, which will save you so much time. When you are on the Math 2C exam, and you, it's all about the time and speed. So that's one great thing about this calculator. Another thing is that it also could help you solve not just for system of equations, but also for logarithms. And so let's say I want to once again solve for logarithms. Um, for this type of question like logarithms, um, the part is this, is the fact that yes, you might know the rule already and you might know that you need to move five over and solve it out and that, that works. Um, but what if you forgot? Or what if you just want to save time and it's more complicated than this type of question? Well, same thing. I could go to catalog. I could look for the letter L because it's logarithms, L. I could scroll down a little bit real quick and I'll find it right here, logs. And how log function works on the TI-89 is that I need to write the letter X first, comma, five, because that will indicate that that five will be the base value equals to two, comma, X. And it tells me x is equals to 25, and that's which which is the correct answer. And so that's one great thing about this calculator that exists, um, that the TI-84 cannot offer. Um, not only that, um, another thing about TI-89 that is great is that it also offers you know the graphing utility that the TI-84 has, and it's very similar to it. So you could simply do, and I'm gonna move it a little bit, is the fact that I could put functionalities like this, and duly really note the TI-84 does have this. I'm just noting that they they both you know have the exact same functionality and ne necessary tools for you to be able to solve this. Um, and so what happens is that for example this question right here that I made up right here I could end up graphing it out and of course using the window I could readjust my boundaries and let's say I don't really like the boundaries right now which is actually currently shifted I could move it around and actually refix my boundaries based on clicking the green button and F2 which is the green lettering for window and I could see this. Um, what's also great um, that both TI-84 and 89 do offer is the fact that I could solve for zeros. So for example, I could push lower bounds right here, let's say upper bounds around here, and it tells me the answer, negative two zero is my zero. Um, negative two zero is my zero. Um, and so there's a lot of the functionalities here on TI-89 that's great. Um, but I do also want to provide context a little bit more that that bringing back the TI-84 a little bit into this context is the fact that um, that 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 TI-84 is actually a lot more useful, or in my personal belief, a lot more easier to use for, as I mentioned, the simple calculations. That being stated, if you have any other topics you want me to cover, you know, talk about, etc., please do uh, provide a comment below. Um, this is the video for today. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe, and hope you have a wonderful day.